everyone, welcome to Total Body Conditioning with Shane Staley. Grab some weights if you have them, a set of heavy, medium, and light, a mat, a towel, some water. Make sure to modify anything you need to in today's workout, which consists of three exercises. We're gonna run through those three exercises three times, followed by a one minute cardio burst, which we'll do one time. So that is a big chunk. We're gonna have two of those chunks with different exercises. So rounds of three today, grab what you have, modify what you need to, and let's get going. Total body, open those feet a little wider than your hips. Let's take some windmill arm circles forward. Let's start to loosen up, move, groove. Reverse and circle the other way. And then give me some easy twists right and left. Pull your belly in, keep your shoulders soft. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open those feet wide. Bring your arms to a T. I want you to reach that left hand down, bend your right knee, come back up, and then reach that left arm over and come back up. Right knee bends and up. Stretch right and up. Four more like that. Bend and up. Stretch. Four. Bend and up, stretch, three, bend, and up, stretch, two, one more, bend, and up, big stretch, good, other side, left knee bends, right hand reaches down, come up, stretch that right arm over, reset, bend, and up, stretch, four more, four, Three, two, last one, one, good, toes out, heels in, bend your knees, take it down into a squat, you can use your elbows to push your knees open, if it feels good to rock a little bit, go for it. Let's bring our hands to the floor, turn those toes in, heels out, forward fold. Take a couple sways side to side through your hips, your torso, your neck and head. Come back to center, give me a deep bend in your knees. Stretch those legs. Two more like that deep bend. And stretch. One more bend and stretch, roll all the way up to stand. Easy in the shoulders, bring those feet in and jog it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, jacks with a chest stretch, elbows pull back. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, one more time, jog it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, jacks with a chest stretch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, good, rest, toes forward, elbows in. Let's just take a couple squats here. Nice deep squat and stand. Squat and stand. Last six, five. Warming up those joints, ankles, knees, hips. Four, three, two. Last one, stay low. Little pulses, shoulders soft, find your breath. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, nice, fold over your legs, have a moment. And swing to the right, slide your left leg back. Find a long lunge. Stretch both legs straight, hop your back foot in a little bit. Fold over that front thigh, easing your neck, your head, your shoulders. Take it back into a lunge. Right leg steps to plank, setting up for eight push-ups. Three, two, here we go. Down, exhale, one, two, pull your belly in, start to fire up those abdominals a little more. Four, five, six, seven, last one. Step your left foot between your hands. Nice long lunge, lots of breath. Let's straighten both legs, hop that back foot in a little. Fold over your front thigh. Take it back into a lunge. One more set of push-ups, left leg steps to plank. Three, two, one. Down, exhale, two. Three, four, five, six, two more. One more. Push into your hands, lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog, pedal out your legs, shake out your head, take whatever feels good. Keep those movements happening as you walk your hands and feet together. Soften your knees. Give your head a little shake. Stay here, reach behind you, interlace your fingers, chest expansion. Try and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Get wider across your chest, heavier in your head. We're here for four, three, two, one. Release your arms. Soften your knees, roll all the way up to stand. Cool, shake it out. And we are going in. So for today's workout, we have two chunks of work. Each chunk consists of three exercises. We're gonna run through those three, three times, followed by a one minute cardio burst that we're doing once. First of our three exercises, heavy or medium-ish weights. We're gonna take a reverse lunge with that right leg to close, and then a reverse lunge, same leg, to a knee drive. That counts as one. Reverse lunge to close, reverse lunge, knee drive. We're gonna do this eight times on the right. Grab your weights, right leg steps back in three, two, here we go. Reverse lunge to close, and then same leg, right leg back into a knee drive. Find your balance, that's one. Reverse lunge to close, reverse lunge to that knee drive, two, Good, smooth it out. Three. Really pushing down into your left foot as you come into that knee drive. Breathe. Lunge to close, lunge to knee drive. Two more rounds on the right. Lunge to close, lunge to knee drive. Last set, lunge to close, lunge to knee drive, rest. Beautiful, set those weights down. Take a breath. We're gonna do the same thing, other side. Left leg back, close, left leg back, knee drive. Now that right tush has to do a lot to support. Let's get ready. Five, four, three, 
two, here we go, left leg back, up to close, left leg back, find that knee drive, one, going to eight, lunge, to close, lunge to knee drive, seven, lots of breath, keep that focus, working that balance, Belly is engaged, shoulders soft. Three more rounds. Lunge to close, lunge to knee drive. Two more. Lunge to close, lunge to knee drive. Last set. Lunge to close, lunge, knee drive. Beautiful, set down those weights. All right, third exercise in this first round, kneeling tricep extensions. If you need to roll up your mat for a little extra padding, you can. We're gonna come onto your knees. If that's still too much, feel free to stay standing. That's totally fine too. You're gonna grab one dumbbell. I'm just gonna use a kettlebell because it's more comfortable than my awkward weight. Arms are up, you're gonna bend and stretch, that's it. Trying to keep those elbows squeezed in, bending as much as you can, straightening as much as you can. We're gonna go for 12 of these. On those knees if that's comfortable, otherwise stay standing. Grab one weight, five, four, arms overhead, three, two, here we go. Bend those elbows, squeeze your elbows towards your temples. Exhale, straighten your arms fully, one. Bend, exhale, two, nice. Bend, three. Wherever you are, either kneeling or standing, try and pull your belly in a little more. Really using that breath, big exhale as those arms straighten. Good. Five more. Five, notice how this weight feels. Four, we have two more rounds to go. Three, you can always go lighter or heavier on the next two rounds. Two, one more. And rest. Awesome job, set that weight down. Water towel off, take what you need, make your way back up. That is our first circuit. We're gonna run through that two more times. Keeping it simple, starting with those lunges. Right leg, 10, nine, breathe, eight, and start to get ready. Seven, six, feel free to adjust your weight. Five, four, right side, three, two, here we go. Right leg lunges, step together. Right leg lunges, find that knee drive. That's one. Lunge and close. Lunge, knee drive. Good. Lunge, close. Three, notice how you're breathing. Halfway, four more. Lunge to close. Lunge, knee drive. Last three. Last two. You got it, one more right here. Lunge to close. Lunge, knee drive. Set down those weights. Take a little breather, that was great. We're gonna do the same thing other side. I'll give you five. Let's do it. Four, left leg lunges. Three, two, here we go. Lunge to close. Lunge, knee drive. Lunge. Two, good. Three, 
three. Four, halfway. So these workouts are great for building strength, endurance, flexibility, mobility, but also body awareness. Becoming more in tune with your body, more in control of your body. So be intentional with that step back, step together, last one into that knee drive and rest. Nice, cool. Take a second if you need to pad up that mat for your knees, go for it. We have 12 tricep extensions. If you prefer to stand, that's an option as well. Five, adjust your weight if you need to. Four, three, arms up, two, here we go. Bend, exhale, one. The more you can bend, the harder it's gonna to be to get those arms back up. Try and keep those elbows squeezing into your head. Just as best as possible. Shoulder flexibility can make this a little challenging. So just do the best you can with those elbows squeezing in. Six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one more. Woo, all right. Shake out those arms, towel off, grab water. We have one more round. You're doing great. Getting through it. Starting with those lunges. One more time, modify that weight or stick with it. I'll give you a 10, nine, breathe, eight, seven, last set, six, Five, four, three, two, here we go. Right leg lunges. Step to close with intention. Place that right foot where you want it to go. Come up and balance. Lunge, close, lunge, balance. Good, belly is drawing in, shoulders are soft. Lunge, close, lunge, lunge, close, lunge. Knee drive, two more rounds. Lunge, close, lunge. Knee drive, last one. Lunge, close, lunge. Rest, that was fabulous. Set those weights down. Take a breath. Whoo. Left side, final set. Let's get her done. Five, four, three, two. Here we go, left leg. Lunge to close. Lunge, knee drive. Lunge to close, keep it going, nice and smooth. Good. Four more, lunge to close, lunge, knee drive, last three. Two, one more, lunge, close, finish it out, find that balance on that knee drive, and rest. Beautiful. Last set 
of tricep extensions. Kneeling or standing, heavier, lighter, or same weight. Let's get set up. Five, four, going for 12. Three, last round. Two, one. Big bend, exhale, extend. Two, good. Three. Now here's a little challenge for you too. Wherever you are, kneeling or standing, can you squeeze your tush a little bit? Let your glutes help you even here. Five more. Five, keep those elbows drawing in as best as possible. Four, whoo, three, two, one more. Yes, fantastic. Set down that weight, stand up, grab water, towel off, take what you need. A little bit longer rest before we move into our minute cardio burst. Now, while you breathe, dumbbell. Again, I'm using a kettlebell just because it's more comfortable for me, but I want you to place whatever you have, dumbbell, kettlebell, it could even be a, a bench in front of you. We're gonna take a minute of toe taps. I want you to physically tap that weight. So we're working your coordination. You're alternating right and left. We're getting those glutes and hammies, those hips, belly and quad, and that heart rate up. Let me get that timer ready. One minute on the clock, set up that dumbbell, trying to touch that dumbbell every time, working that coordination. Five, four, three, Two, let's hit it. Toe taps. Going at your own pace. And just be careful. Keep your eyes on the weight so you don't get tripped up. Make sure you're breathing. We're only doing this once. Halfway there. 30 seconds to go. Good. This is good for your ankles, your calves. You got it, you got it. 15 seconds. Woo! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, that is it. Shake it out, catch your breath. Woo, circuit one or chunk one is done. Grab some water, towel off. We are moving on. Same structure, new exercises. Three new exercises. We're gonna start with some side to side curtsy squats. I'm gonna have you cradle one weight at your chest. It's gonna activate your core. We're just crossing over to the right, crossing over to the left 12 times. Right is one, left is two. So you get a point for every single one. Cradling that weight at your chest, giving those abdominals a little extra hit. Five, four, three, Two, here we go, left leg tucks. Your hips stay facing forward. That's it, good. You are taking weight on both feet, but can you keep a little more weight in that front leg? A little more weight in that front leg. Good. Belly is engaged. Supporting that weight. Just four more. Four. Three. Two. One more. And rest. That was fantastic. Remember how that felt. You can always go lighter or heavier next time around. 
For this next one, I do want you to go light. We're hitting those delts, those shoulders, a little bit of bicep action, smaller muscles. We're gonna take one to the side, one to the front, and then one upright row, five rounds of that. One to the side, just shoulder height, one to the front, just shoulder height, and then straight up your body and back down. Grab some light weights, five, four, roll your shoulders back, three, easy neck, two, let's hit it. Exhale, side, one front, and then straight up your body like you're taking off your shirt and back down. Again, that's it. Side, tiny, tiny bend in your knees to lengthen through your lower back and pull your belly in more. Two, side, we're going to five. Three, now challenge here as you're working those shoulders is to keep your neck easy. Four, last round right here. One side, one front, upright row, and rest. Nice, very nice. All right, we are gonna go for some swings today. I wanna show you the form to protect your lower back. If you feel this in your lower back at all, stop, pause, and let's reset. We're gonna go heaviest, just one weight. You're gonna grab that weight with both hands. Now for swings, you're gonna think of your hip creases pulling back. Your hands are gonna come way up high into this triangle at your inner thighs. If you let your hands drop down, then your low back takes a lot of that pressure. So hands right at your inner thighs. We're gonna start with those hips back and then swing. Yeah, if you see my hands, they're way up at my inner thighs. If you feel this more in your arms, use your legs more. You're powering down through your heels. You're squeezing your tush. Your hips are what's driving your arms up and down. So those arms should just float based on your legs. Let's give it a try. We're gonna go for 20 of these. Start standing, holding that weight. Three, your hip creases will move back. Two, one, here we go. Hands way up at your inner thighs. Good. Pushing through your heels, squeezing your tush. If you feel it mainly in your arms, drive through those legs more. 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and relax. Breathe. Just take note of your body. If you felt that in your lower back, we'll make some adjustments next time. That looked good though. Water, towel off, breathe. That is our second circuit. We're gonna go from the top. Curtsy squats, right and left. Grabbing one weight. Five, racking at your chest. Four, left leg tucks first. Three, two, let's hit it. Going for 12 of these. One. And just be kind to your knees. Only go as low as your knees are letting you today. Good. Use your breath. Four more. Four. Three. Two. You got it, last one. Rest. Beautiful. Set down that weight. Light weights are next. One side, one front, one upright row. Breathe. I'll give you five, shoulders back, four, tiny, tiny bend in your knees, that'll help lengthen your lower back, three, two, here we go, one side, one front, upright row, one, 
Uh, again, side, front, two, side, front, three, side, front, four, one more round right here. Exhale to lift, take it front, Exhale to left, straight up and down. Awesome, awesome. So one more recap on those swings. Your hips pull back. If you notice, my spine is super long. I'm not rounding. That also has to do with your hands. If those hands are up high, you can keep length in your spine. You're hinging, whoo, big squeeze into your tush. My energy is going down through my heels to come up. Let's grab one weight going for 20. If this is too complicated, you can just take regular squats if you prefer. Five, four, three. You're gonna start by pulling those hips back. Two, here we go. Hips back. One, two. Power down through your heels. Squeeze your tush at the top. Exhale, exhale. 10 more. Those arms should be propelled by the power of your legs. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Woo, that looked good. How'd that feel? Nice, good. One more round, towel off if you need to. Curtsy squats, side to side, looking good. Let's grab our weights. Five, four, three, racking that weight. Two, left leg tucks. One, three, 12, 11, good. 10, nine, eight, seven, lots of control on the way down. Four, three, two, one more. Rest. Nice. Breathe. Light weight. Lat raise, front raise, upright row. Five rounds. Five. Four, roll those shoulders back. Three, teeny tiny bend in your knees. Two, let's hit it. Exhale, side. Take it front. Upright row. One. Palms stay facing your body right here. Those elbows lift and lower two. Three. Good. Side. Front. Four. Last round. Side. Front. That's it. Relax. Beautiful. All right, gang. One more round of swings. It's going to close out the second round of threes. Go lighter, go heavier. Keep that same weight. Form is looking good. Keep that intention. Hips pull back. Energy drives down, but squeezes. Three. Hands stay high at those inner thighs. Two. One. Here we go. One, two, big exhales, you swing. Good. Spine is long. This looks great. Woo. Ten more. Five, four. Three, two, 
two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Woo, get rid of that weight. Clear your area. We have our one minute cardio burst, taking us to that finish line. Awesome job. All right. Option one, two little side steps. One, two, star jack, feet open. They land together. Two little side steps, star jack. Option two, two little side steps, two quick jacks. Two little side steps, two quick jacks. You decide, one minute on the clock. Five, this is our last push. Four, three, two, here we go. Two side steps, either one star jack or two quick jacks. Good, I like it. You can even mix it up. You can take a couple big jacks, a couple quick jacks. You decide. Make sure you're breathing. This is our power push. So as long as your form is clean, I want you to push that pace. Yes, yes. Halfway there, 30 seconds, let's go. Let's go. Woo! Keep those toes forward. 15 seconds. Push it, push it. Breathe. Last a little bit right here for five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Walk it out, catch your breath. Towel off, grab water. Awesome job. Transitioning into cool down mode. Give your body, body a minute or two to do that. As you're ready, come down to a seat. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees open wide. Continue to slow down your breath. Sit up tall. Let's just take our head side to side a couple times. Easy in the shoulders. And then let's dip down and up, chin down. Chin up, a couple times there, down and up. The next time your chin dips down, keep folding over those legs. Let your shoulders slide down your back. If it feels good to flutter your legs or shake your head out a little, go for it. Make your way up to sit. I'll mirror you here. Keep your right leg in, extend your left leg long, and then fold over that left leg. See if you can walk your sit bones back a little bit. Stretch wider through that inner right knee. Big breaths. This is a good one for the back, for the hamstrings. Make your way up to sit. Keep it simple, swap out those legs. Right leg long, left foot in. Fold over that right leg. Walk your sit bones back a little bit. Get wider through that inner left knee. Make your way up to sit. Bring your feet to the floor, hands behind you, knees wide, and just take some sways here. Those knees can go as far or as little as you'd like, side to side. Good. Getting into the back, the hips, we're here for five, four, three, two. Excellent, let's swing around all fours and take some lunges. Step your right foot between your hands. Bring both hands to your right thigh. Lift your chest, relax your shoulders. Let those hips press forward as your heart lifts. 
and we'll try and get that left hip flexor a little bit. I want you to fold your left elbow in. Take a big breath in here. On an exhale, push your right hand into your right leg. Use that as leverage. Stretch that left arm over to the right. Good. Inhale back in. Let's do that two more times. Exhale, big stretch up and over. Inhale back in. Exhale, big stretch up and over. Nice. Come back to center. Keep your right hand on your right thigh, left hand to the floor. Push your right thigh forward a little twist and look over your right shoulder. Option to stay right there. If you'd like to add a quad stretch, you can bend your back knee and catch your foot. If you can't catch your foot though, don't worry about that quad stretch. Just focus on that twist. We're here for five, four, three, two, Beautiful, gently release and we'll swap out our legs. Right leg back, left foot forward. Both hands to that left thigh. Lift your chest, relax your shoulders, let those hips press forward. I want you to fold that right elbow in. Take a big inhale, exhale, stretch to the left. Now I like to push my left hand into my left thigh a little bit to get leverage to stretch further over. Inhale, re-bend that right elbow. Two more, exhale, big stretch. Inhale, back in. Last time, exhale, stretch. Good, gently release, right hand to the floor, but keep that left hand on your thigh. Push your left thigh forward a little, twist and look over your left shoulder. You can stay right there or maybe add that quad stretch. Wherever you are, breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Gently release. Make your way into downward dog. Take your time. Give your legs a little pedal. Walk your hands and feet together. Soft knees. Shake out your head, shake out your shoulders. Stay easy there as you roll all the way up to stand. And we'll finish with two big breaths. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, let it go. Good, one more inhale, arms up. This time press your palms. Exhale, take that energy with you. Woohoo! Nice job!